Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to protect selected Excel files using VBA macros. So we'll set the password like that and then select the files from this dialog and in the background it's going to protect the workbook structure and also the content in the works. So when protected it will look like this. We won't be able to move or delete any sheets. As you see, it shows the message where it is protected. And also, we won't be able to, to change the content in the worksheet or, or, or the chart. Alternatively, or additionally, we can protect or rather encrypt the entire workbook. And that would look like this other example here. When trying to open, it will prompt this um, dialog to enter a password. And it will not show any contents until the correct password is entered. I'm also going to show you how to do that and what are the differences in the VVA code between protecting the workbook structure and protecting or encrypting the file. Let's close here and move to the, to the Visual Basic Editor. Insert a new module and the macro protect selected workbooks. And the first thing we'll do is to declare a password variable as a string the selected files as a variant, each individual file as a variant as well, and a WS as a worksheet object. And then we request the user to input a password with an input box, saying enter a password to protect the workbooks. And then if the password has been set, we can display a dialog box with get open file name specifying the file filter as, uh, let me continue down here, only Excel files with that extension, XLXS and anything else. It could be XLXX, XLXM, and setting a title to select files and multi-select true to allow to select several files. Now for each file in the selected files, the first thing we'll do is to open the workbook. But before we do that, I'm going to set here the application screen updating to false because we want to open the files in the background. Then here with workbooks open, we open the file and that becomes the active workbook. So now with the active workbook, we are going to loop through each worksheet in the workbook. So for each WS in the active workbook dot worksheets, and we are going to protect with the password that we set before the contents in the worksheet. And we are protecting everything, but you could specifically protect certain components or allow, for example, to format the cells or to sort or filter. Or alternatively, you could also unlock some cells or columns to let the users add or change some information there. And next, we are going to protect the workbook structure. So with active workbook dot protect and we're going to use again the same password and let me add a commentary here this is protecting workbook structure and as we've seen earlier that protects from adding new sheets or deleting any sheet moving the sheet or changing the name and alternatively or Additionally, we can protect or rather encrypt the workbook. And we can do that with active workbook dot password equals the password. So let me add here some commentary. This is going to protect or rather encrypt the workbook. So that it's going to ask for a password when we try to open the workbook. So you would rather use one or the other, I believe, but it depends on your requirements. But if you set a password, you may not need to protect the other components of the workbook. And then we save the workbook and we close it. So let's end here the with statement and move to the next file. 
And when this is done, we're going to set the application screen updating to true again. And down here, we end the if statement that we had for, uh, for the password. And there is an extra comma here I see. Now we are going to only protect the structure. So I'm going to comment this line. And if we run the macro, we get the box to input the password. And then we have a dialog to select the files. I'm going to select example 1, 2, and 3 and click Open. Then in the background, as you see here, it's going to open and protect the workbook structure and the contents in the worksheets for those selected workbooks. And the result is what we've seen at the beginning. So it's going to protect the workbook from adding new sheets or deleting any sheets, changing the name, moving, and the contents in the worksheets. So that's how we protect Excel files using VVA macros and the difference between protecting the workbook structure and protecting or encrypting the file. Thanks for watching.